Hello and welcome to my workshop again. My name is Jacek and in this video uh, I want to resurrect my micro mill. So as you already know from my previous videos, I've disassembled the control and to convert my lathe. So I was left, the mini mill was left without the stepper motors for X, X and uh, Y axis. And the Z axis only is uh, fully assembled. So I've decided that, that I will buy some stepper drivers and use the motors uh, I was using in this uh, mini mill uh, area. And these ones are 1.89 Newton meters. Uh, but I have a problem because the hybrid steppers uh, had an axis of a diameter of uh, 8 millimeters and uh, this steppers has a smaller shaft which is 6 millimeters so I have a problem to solve because uh, the leg isn't ready yet so I need to figure out the way how to and make this hole small. But first, I will tell you a little bit more about the micro CNC project itself. So, as you can see, the project started as a small welded frame with axis built on linear modules from THK. After a year or so, I've decided that the mill needs a little bit more of the rigidity. So, I added 15 mm wide linear rails and linear bearings. Everything was mounted to the bigger frame with the use of milled plates. So, the construction of the mill hasn't changed till then. I've only tested few different control boards and few different types of motors and motor controllers. So, let's get back to the workshop and find solution for the problem. So, um... While the lathe isn't uh, working yet, uh, but I only have a moving tailstock, which I can operate manually. So I'm thinking that I will enlarge the hole, make a thread, plug it, and then re-drill with the 6mm drill. And I hope uh, that will do the job. So let's uh, jump to the lathe, reduce the hole, mm, tap it, and we will see how it works. So let's uh, let's try to do something.
So I've decided that I will go with a five minute epoxy to glue that thread uh, inside pulley. So let's clean it. I hope it will be enough. Okay, let's put it inside. That's right. As I thought. So So I will tighten this up. Just and we will see if it will uh, do the job so I will go with another one and after it cures we will try to drill the hole mm. Hopefully it will, it will work. So as you can see, it worked. It worked, and it's a little bit loose fit because it appears that uh, the shaft is six point five millimeters, and the only drill I had was six point five, so it wasn't accurate but I think it will do the job this work 
this came out pretty good, but this one is off centered. Uh, I messed it up. As you can see, this is some kind of a way of uh, making a hole smaller. And in addition, we can use the tight screw to. to tight the pulley on the motor so let's call it a partial success what we need to do is to mount it on the mill connect new stopper drivers and let's see if uh, it's still working so as you can see I already mounted one of the steppers mm, everything seems to be working okay so I will just go and uh, I mount the other one and what will be left will be to wire everything and test if the Mini meal, it's alive again. So, I'm done wiring all the test setup. As you can see, it's a total mess. What's left to do is to make a quick configuration. And we will see if the micro mail will move. I hope. So. Okay, so. As you can see, I'm getting the movement of the axis, but in case of uh, these two drivers, um, it's only in one direction. Uh, I was thinking that I 
can connect the uh, direct pin correctly but if I go to Z axis and press test as you can see I can move it uh, in both directions up and down mm, so uh, I think that uh, I need to uh, change some um, parameters of these drivers because they uh, and uh, they came up with this fancy panel to change the uh, settings of them so I need to just to need to go to manual and see what's uh, wrong but as you can see they are pretty fast let's increase the acceleration to 2000 and let's see if they move yeah they're moving pretty good so the only thing left to do is go to the manual and see what uh, parameters I need to change and it will be everything so in next video let's test the mill and see how the spindle is uh, working okay so that's all for today so I spent a little bit of time working with this and I finally get it so the the type of the control signal was uh, wrong and as you can see now I uh, have all axes working as they should and um, these drivers are really good I think for the price they are so much better than the Toshiba ones so just a quick update so uh, one step closer to making my workshop fully working stay tuned